Hello everyone and welcome to Hypersphere here on Higher Plane Games. My name's Simon. This is the game that we're looking at. It is the latest Marble Madness styled game that has just appeared on Steam. Thank you very much to the developer for giving me a copy to review. I do love this opening track. It kind of sets you up for the generally strange scenario that you find yourself in during this game. Um, everything is very hyper real and everything is rather weird. And the idea, as with all of these marble games, is that you control the marble, and I'm doing that with the left analog stick on my Xbox 360 controller. Mm. Uh, a lets you jump, and then the idea is to get from one part of the level to the other. Um, and in doing so, you collect hypno coins, which is essentially your money, and then you score points by collecting these little buddies along the way. Get to the end of the level and you're done. The beauty of Hypersphere is that its levels are a extremely beautiful i love i love the treatment that they've given these and just how like dream world like they are mm. uh but also that there is and i'm going to die there because i was being silly there's also no um time restraint for the level themselves so you can sit and kind of size up a challenge along the way and that's really really good because there's a couple of design mm. things with this game mm that kind of require that to be a thing, and I may have just demonstrated one of the issues there. So the first one is that you are constantly facing forward and that you can't turn the camera in any way. So when you've played other things like uh, Ballistic or Cooler World or other marble games in general, it's quite useful to have like a view of the world that you can turn around and si line yourself up for jumps with and so on and so forth. Um, no such luck here with Hypersphere. The second one, and I've just demonstrated it there, is that the mechanics between how you roll um, with the speed and like when you press back that it, it takes a while to slow. So I'm going backwards and forth and you can see that there's, there's momentum there and there's a mass and there's a physics. However, when I... Uh, let's see if I can do it here. If I jump and immediately stop, it's like when I hit the ground, all of my mass is reset to zero and I can be pointed in any old direction at ease. And there's quite a disparity between how you handle when you land compared to actually how you are just going backwards and forth like this. And it takes a lot of getting used to and it doesn't feel intuitive. And if that's the floor for Hypersphere, it's it's that, along with some of the lenser flare effects that you get throughout this game, which you may be able to see in the background. But notably, when you're collecting money in some of the dark levels... Oh, oh that was... Oh, Simon. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes, yes, no, 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 yes. No! Ah! <laughs> well, that... that, that... <laughs> That's what was called off the wagon. <laughs> I love the weird, surrealistic, um, like situation that you're in. Now. Oh, that was kind of come on, side. There we go. Ooh, that was a pure miracle. There you go. So that was a really good example. I was absolutely bombing it. Um, but just by landing, I was able to bring myself to a complete halt. Now, I'm sure there must be some, like, later on, because there's quite a lot of levels in this game, a reason why the mechanic is like that. But actually, it's quite off-putting to play with. As is, in the dark levels, the I've hit a coin or I've got a power-up, they're so um, shimmery and, like, full, full of all the lens flare in the world. That actually I find it quite off-putting. Um, mm. I do wonder actually if you'd need an epilepsy warning. I might be going a bit too far. Uh, but there's someone who is quite eye sensitive to some of these things and I get like tired eyes these days quite quickly because obviously we spend so much time having to stare and look at things and so on and so forth. Um, mm. I don't necessarily find this easy on the eyes in the dark levels no matter how beautiful it looks <laughs> mm. 
So as you see, I'm collecting money and I'm also collecting a score with my 30 lives that I start with at the start of the game. Uh, going into the store allows you to buy extra lives with coins to kind of keep yourself going. Um, or you can just buy different skins for your ball. Now they don't necessarily change any of the ball properties that you have. So there's a couple of marble games where like you change into an iron form and you're heavier or a paper form and then you can float on the wind and stuff like that. There's none of that physics here. This is just a puristic... Uh, uh, sorry, a pure and surrealistic like marble madness super monkey ball style thing. Um, and so it's about getting the momentum going where you can, understanding where you should and shouldn't be jumping, you can see, okay, on, and it's probably best shown here, there's like a little yellow thing that follows your ball around that's connected to it. And that almost feels to me like your kind of momentum chart in a way, but it's not described in any way, shape or form. So I'm never quite sure if that's what it's supposed to be. That's an extra life power up, by the way. And this is the way of hypersphere. I absolutely love some of the stuff that it does. I do think there's some issues with some of the things here. And this is like a weird power up that has still not made much sense to me. So I'm being able to pick up um, stuff to like the left of me before I get there with this power up. Mm. Got my life back. Mm. Almost. There we go. Ooh. Let's see what I can do. I lost lots of lives life on this earlier on. Mm. And this all falls away annoyingly. Mm. I'm not, even, I'm not even going to attempt it. All of that floor falls away, and I, that was what I spent so long trying to do in a previous like video. And I was like, this looks awful. Don't even look vaguely competent. At least I aim for that. Yes, the lasers kill you, by the way. Got none of those. <laughs> uh, where's the coin? So yeah, this is Hypersphere. It's available on Steam currently at the moment. Um, I think it does some things really, really well as a marble game. Uh, I do think it needs to take a look at evening out some of the physics from when it lands from a jump. Um, or at least make it cons a little bit more consistent, I guess, is what I'm thinking. No, I knew that was going to happen. That like film grain effect I really really like. It gives it a weird neon dystopian feel. Oppressively cinematic for a marble game. So yeah, I really appreciate the effort that's been taken to make this look and feel different. Um, however, the most important thing in a marble game I would argue, apart from perhaps camera, oh, there we go, is the ball physics. Maybe they kind of go hand in hand. And when the camera is static, all you've got left is the ball physics. So you need to make sure that the ball physics are great. Um, and it just needs a wee bit of fit smoothing out, I think, for me to give this like a wholehearted recommend. If you like these kind of games, though, you'll find plenty to do here. There's 90 of levels. Um, they're not time bound, which I actually I find a breath of fresh air. Mm. Uh, no, I knew it was going to happen. We might have to give this arm up here. Um, and yeah, and maybe the uh, Stopping, rolling, bouncing physics may become a bit more clearer in later levels where you happen to be a bit more precise on the old movement. Hmm. 
At least the levels aren't too long, so that those are very, very short music loops aren't too horrific to listen to. Mm. So, Hypersphere available on Steam. Thank you very much for the developer for giving me a go. Um, uh, oh, sorry, for giving me a copy to mm. review this game. Much appreciated. Please do stay tuned for more games, reviews, playthroughs, and live streams of Drunken Joy. On high playing games, like, comment, and subscribe if this was of use to you. Uh, and if you do like supporting indie journalism, uh, then as I die on there, there's a Patreon <laughs> available uh, for a monthly bonus and extras should you feel so inclined to do so. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye.